Welcome back, guys. So we were uh, discussing the the deployment option for for the master data services package. So in the previous video, we we uh, have seen that how we can create the the backup or or uh, or, or the the package uh, of our model from from the deployment perspective. Now uh, and the the package we have created, you can see it's a very small file because we haven't included any data. So now in this video. What we are going to do, we first create the, the package, but now this time, excuse me, we are going to include the data into, into our package file. So you'll be surprised. Let me just clear the screen. Uh, the, the rest of the command will remain same. Like we are going to uh, uh, use the create package command. We are going to add two more options into, into our command. And by the way, if you only have one version of your package, you just uh, you don't need to mention because by default it's only going to to take one version so we can mention the version information if we want to just from the demo perspective i'm going to show you and the last one we are going to do which is very important include data so include data switch uh, actually include the data within within our uh, uh, package or the file that we are going to create it's going to include the data in it now it's going to keep the data within the package file so from the security perspective uh, uh, nobody can uh, see any data because it's all in the binary shape until unless we deploy it into uh, into into our uh, target server so let's create and we'll see how it goes i have misspelled All right, so I need to just change the, there will be, yeah. So because we have created the the, the previous package file uh, uh, without the data and I forgot to change the name of the file. So that was what's giving the error. Now it should be all right. Now you can see it start creating the creating the file and now we have the, the package file created successfully. Now, let me show it to you, the, the, the size you're gonna see. So you can see the previous file that we have created was only 39 KBs, but now what we have, we have almost, I, I would say, it's uh, not 10 times, uh, it's 30 times more than, than the uh, previous file. Now there's only uh, one test remaining. I want to re, uh, uh, I want to redeploy these both packages to just show you that whether, what's the difference between two and the, the hypothesis that we have uh, claimed uh, before that one file is going to restore the structure, but without data, the other file is going to restore the structure as well as the data into, into the target location. So what I'm going to do, let me first go and remove the, the package, uh, uh, the, the model from, from my MDS. So if you want to remove your uh, the the package, you can go and you uh, to system administration, and you can hit delete. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, we are going to delete our package. Now we, uh, uh, our package has been deleted. So now if I come back to my main interface, you can see we don't have any package uh, available. Sorry, our model has gone. So we don't uh, have any model available into my MDS. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to now store the, the empty package first, to just to show you how we can see the, the, the restore of the structure. And then we remove it again, and I'm going to show you the uh, the uh, the restore of the full package uh, into into the into the server, which is going to not only create the 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 structure but data as well. So let's let's start. All right, guys. So let me just go back. Uh, yeah, and now what we are going to do? We are now going to deploy the package. So. We are still going to use the same exe file and I'm using a different window just from, from the uh, neatness perspective. So we have different session just to show you that if we have a different uh, server. So I'm going to use the same 
same uh, uh, tool, MDS model deploy. But this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to, instead of create a package, I'm going to deploy new. Because deploy new will uh, allow us to, to deploy the package into, into our target server. Now, obviously, we are going to we are going to mention the package name. We need three things. We need to mention the package name, which is obviously the package which we have created. We need to mention the the model, what the the name of the model that we are going to to use, and that can be different from environment to environment. And the last thing we we need to mention the the service name, which we have already uh, uh, extracted once we were creating the package. So all the, uh, the three parts available for us from the information perspective. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mention the package name, and you know my package is sitting into into this location. So let me just copy for somehow it did not copy the, okay, now it's all good. Yeah. And I'm going to, like I mentioned, I'm first going to deploy the empty package. So let me just copy the empty package name dot pkg. The next option which we are going to use is model. And my model is analytical. Yeah. And the last one is service. And you know, we have already extracted the service name uh, by using the list services. And on this machine, the master data services the name is MDS1. So let me just hit and it has started the, the, the deployment process. And after some time, it's going to create the whole model. I just give it a couple of seconds because the model is very small and it, because it is without any data. So it's going to be very quick. So now it's all gone, uh, uh, all done. So we, if we can go back and we try to refresh our page. Awesome. So you can see we already have our model uh, uh, created into, into the environment. One important thing which I'm going to show you before uh, we close this video. Like I mentioned, in the uh, if you want to include the data, it's going to restore the structure. So you're going to see all the entities which we have created in the past. So we have four entities and all these entities are available. But these entities are only restored from the skeleton perspective or from the structure perspective, right? So you can see percent type and active status. The only thing missing, which is very important from, from the governance perspective is the data. So if I go inside and I try to explore the, the data of my entity, so you can see there is no data sitting into into any entity right so what we can do we can use we can use dummy data we can load into into these these uh these structure and then we can run our test cases and once we are good we can run the same script or enhancement into into uat environment or in less restrictive environment from the testing or approval process and then we release into into the production which is normally a a, a very strong dev practice which we follow uh, from the development perspective so you can see we have successfully uh, created the package we removed the existing package and what we have done we have restored the empty uh, package back into into our master data services which has been stored as a as a model so hopefully uh, the the deployment process is pretty clear now up to this point there's only two things left or two step left uh, one is to to deploy the uh, to deploy the the uh, the package with the data and to automate the whole system. So, because that, that's always uh, appreciated. You know, if we have uh, no or minimum intervention uh, during the deployment process, because that aligns with our governance perspective. So in the next two videos, we're gonna actually see these two steps. If you have any question, please put it in the comments, more than happy to answer. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.